of our social media. Hi, That's everyone. Hi. Listen, I've been under the weather. You know, it's allergy <laughs> season, and it's hard for a girl vocals, honey. And this one's over here stated I need to have a plunging of Mr. Welcome Trina. back, Miss Kimchi. <laughs> Hi. The I'm bitch is back. back. Darla's back. First and foremost, we want to thank our subscribers. I yes. would say that I don't like y'all, but I love y'all. That's my motto in 22. I love each and every new subscriber that comes Remember, on. keep subscribing. Y'all well, look. Listen, like. Damn it. Hey, comment. Look. Comment. Well, you know what? I don't give a fuck about your comments. But at least like and subscribe. Oh, uh, got a question. Child, this all always got questions I do. on the show. Honey. You I got your drink ready? Do y'all got y'all smoke ready? Because I'm already on one. Yes. I feel better. Yes. I'm a little rejuvenated. Yes. And I feel a little extra we... petty. Let's get these Emily. shots in first, please. Already, already. I'm scared. Get your shot. shot ready, babe. I'm scared. Oh, God, darling. Salud. Salud. Come on. Oh. Okay, let me see if I can swallow. The doctor gave me precautions not to swallow so hard. I'm okay. I mean, it's tasty. Girl, this tastes like some bullshit. Which one what do the you fuck have? you fed me that? Anyway. No. Can we I got tricked. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of cool and smooth. <laughs> Moment of silence as she swallows. Yeah, I love my swallowing. All right, let's get into nice topics. Because you're not a spitter, you're a swallow. All the time. You taught me something. I did, bitch. Conclude. Yes. I don't need extra vitamins and supplements. Anyway. You might do, honey. It might help your brain stem solve. Our topic for tonight are the three P's of relationships. Um, providing, protecting, and professing your love. Uh huh. So we're gonna get into the providing part first. But I'll break the other three P's down for y'all. Okay. When she goes into her her rib. Right. So providing. Let's talk about the financial aspect of what of providing in a relationship. Oh, uh, what do you mean the financial aspect, honey? Because mine is a limited time. Is it really though? What you mean is it really though? Where are your Gucci slides at right now? They, I wear those for special occasions, honey. Why are you I'm just saying. And why I wear it for special occasions? It's a Gucci. It's but, okay, okay, well listen, honey. We're, we're talking about providing for your mate in the relationship. Let's well, that's what she's stating for me. Because you know, I, you, you, you know, I, I love my label. I'm a labor whore. Mm -hmm. Across the board. We know. Uh huh. And yes, I don't put my Gucci slides on in any aspect like that. I mean, I have a lot of them. But I used to be a Gucci fan. I'm not a Gucci fan like that. No okay, more. can we not talk about ourselves and talk about what well, I'm saying that? It's, it's a lot of ladies like me have a lot of uh, expensive attire in our closets. Gucci Louis Vuitton. Fendi. And would you buy your man Gucci Louis Fendi? And all those labels, would yes. You? Okay. Yes, financially I will because number one, he understands I place my money out for what I like. What if your man couldn't provide for you financially the way that you are accustomed to? Exactly. But what's everything you needed? Yeah, everything you needed but could not provide financially for you. On the aspect of my labeling, of my clothing. Whether it's wise. materialistic or it needs, dire needs. Financially, that's not a hard question. I don't think. For you, it might not be. But for me, it might be. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, financially, yes. It can be kind of a, uh, a seesaw. Why would I say that? It's because he's probably looking like he sees everything that I own. And it's like, well, wait a moment. I cannot financially provide for her like that. And I'm like, it's okay. Do what you can. And I can say throughout my life. Dealing with different men in different aspects. Financially, you know, some don't have the word of the day. Aspects? Uh -huh. I've said it like 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Different aspects. It's, Go ahead. I'm saying, because every man is not built the same. Like y'all saying, 
if I don't have a man who cannot be there financially, competitively, what I need, but he, he covers everything else across the board that holds that financial part, mm -hmm. yeah. I've been there, done that. I mean, I met, I've been with a man who's been as low as that was working at a job that was paying him ten dollars an hour, and I was making more than him. Mm -hmm. But he made a way to make it financially affordable and pleasing for both of us. You okay. feel me? So, uh, overall, your answer is yes. Mm -hmm. You would still go for that relationship. I have it because would you have somebody on the side? See, that's not actually accepting them because money is that is accepting correctly. That it is, is accepting. accepting, like I'm accepting you, even though you can't provide for me the way but that I'm I gonna have another to. But, to provide for me. But you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. If this other person is, you know, providing for the both of us, <laughs> it's a win win. It is I'm a win win. Right? It's a win win. I, I, I it's a win win, even though you say it's not right. But I understand where y'all coming from. I'm not giving the main one that I quote quote make my main one, and he's not financially quote quote secure to take care of us quote quote in arena of all the aspects mm -hmm. in areas of our relationship. <laughs> yes, I need a side one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, you know, and the man listen. The man will know. I can't give you all what you want. Is that established though in like boundaries? Established wise, as far as which is professing, wait, is protecting. Well, we're not at that point right now. So, okay, so off of the financial mm -hmm. aspect of it, <laughs> keyword, what about the emotional security? As okay, so that plays inside. Yeah, it does play inside because even though financially he can't give it to me, emotionally he can. So right. therefore, I'm giving it to him emotionally. But at the same point, the other one's giving me both the financial and emotional support. As much as he needs. So why not just go to the one that's giving you financial and emotional? Why have two? Or well, see, that goes case, into the part of in your case six, five six. Why? Seven. Remember when you was like, "Shell, why you can't just find a man that has everything that you're looking for?" Remember that conversation? <laughs> so I'm know. asking you. So why can't you just limit yourself to one that's going to do everything for you? Well, why I don't limit myself to one is we all have a budget plan. <laughs> we do. I mean, in our lives, we have a budget plan. We know exactly what our bills are to come or what they are per month. Bills before it's not including expenses of personal. Yeah, we get it. Keep going. Uh huh. You get it. Yeah. So I like y'all say I have six and I trust all of them. Listen, this is a certain amount that I have to have per month that you must. And if they can't provide that amount, well, if you could provide three fourths or a half, I love a half, and I love a little more. I love whole. If you can provide holy, but if you cannot provide the that fifty, be your main. the thirty, or the fifty, the seventy, or fifteen or ten percent, <laughs> this bitch is like church. Give me ten percent, bitch. Hello, Titus is always good. wonderful in the church. You are overstimulating your brain far too much. For what? For stimulating my brain on what? Like, okay. Oh well, watch the movie. Having a factory job overstimulated baby boomers' brains and led them to where they are right now. Bitch, she called you old as fuck. <laughs> she called baby boomers. She always coming for you. Uh, no, I'm just making an example. I'm making a connection just because it's sex. Well, honey, I'm not baby. in baby boomers. <laughs> but you are baby having boomers. a excessive amount of sex without... You're where the sex coming from? <laughs> hey, yeah, that's, that's all, all they're them. for. That is all that's they're all for. The, that's all the what the six men are for? <laughs> no, she just said some of them provide money. Some of them provide communication. Some of them and provide sexually. She what says comes she don't have between? sex with all of them. I don't. Let me wait, honey. How, how, much, you are, how, how much are we going to believe that? And if you I watch the show, we yeah, should take you know. a vote. Like, oh my god, I'm just saying. Y'all have Twitter. I have oh, Twitter. Make some sort of poll. Oh, there's a like YouTube polls. Make that the poll. 
Awesome. Anyway. That I am a motherfucking. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Please make a poll. I want to know how many I you thought guys she said a hoe and she, she said yes. And she was like agreeing with you yes. that you were a hoe. <laughs> like a hoe, yes. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the protecting part. Because Girl, I'm trying to get to the motherfucking deep inhalation because this bitch done tried me. This little young ass want to be home. I home. didn't try you. I'm just stating facts. And you're Girl, angry. your facts are unrelated. <laughs> They're How not many even relevant. episodes in total? To the protecting oh, part. Um, I don't fuck all six of them at this time. Maybe three. We can continue. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for the permission. <laughs> um, to the protecting part in a relationship. Um, the feeling safe part. I think if I don't feel safe with a person, then I can't be with that person. That should just be a given. Is it? Because it's not. Because I've been with people who I had to literally protect. Hold on. Okay, look. Now, when you start the relationship off, it doesn't always it stay is. that way. It Remember, it fell, it fell in alcohol. But it doesn't always say that. Wait, shit can change within a week. Shit can change, but, but because if, that week in my so mind, started, if I feel like, okay, if if anything happens, this person is not going to, like, I give it to you. You know what I'm saying? If I don't feel safe around you, if we hear a bump in the night and I'm the first one to get out of bed, be like, no, nah, babe, you stay sleepy. Let me get this. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. relationship-wise. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. If, if, if a female should get out of bed before a dude and protect the household... Something's wrong, I think, unless it's two bitches, and then we just rock, paper, <laughs> no, scissor that shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't even get a hit. That's what do you think about that, Samaje? Um, from my point of view, I agree with you on that part there. Um, semi, I'm gonna be a little biased. If it's my motherfucking house, I don't care if it was my house, the motel room. I don't give a fuck. If something happens. I should not be the one to go out and protect. Well, I honestly agree with you. Let Let me get you, baby. You know, uh, stay there. I'm going to bring a scenario down. Yes, the hotel room, it was like that for me. I ran into the bathroom. I said, go get the door. I'm saying, if I don't think mentally, if I don't feel secure and safe with this person, that's Uh not the person for me. Did you fix that? Because I need to get a a, a pull. Yeah, I fixed it. It's fixed. Um, I feel. What are your thoughts? I, I wasn't handing it to you. I was going to pass it. I wasn't done. But go ahead. What were your thoughts? I feel like it's just different for different women. Like me personally, because I, because RJ is just RJ. I'm gonna get the fuck up too. Like, and then strategically. Yeah, but but out. but well, no, if it's between him and you, mm-hmm. one bully between him and you, who would you prefer to get that bully? Him or you? Of course, um, like... Him? Okay. No, no, of course not him. But I'm just thinking mm-hmm. he has a... He got a... He's... He, his hand? What? He survived that. And he... He revived quickly. I'd... I'd strategically plan shit out. Like, he answers the door. The big, buff, burly, black nigga. And oh, then no. I'm in the background, <coughs> like, lurking. Well, yeah. Um, okay, so what about... I'm not getting a pull, huh? Being open in a relationship. Learning how to... Um, nope, that's somewhere else. Being open in the relationship as in the protecting part. Because some women do have... If you're an independent, strong woman, you already have that protective side. You don't care if you're with somebody like, nah, I got this, these are my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that mother... That mother hen, I got this. You know what I'm saying? You are you are you willing to be open to let this guy step in and be that protector? Oh, yeah, one hundred percent. Because then I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, semi, I say yeah, and when I say semi, y'all know me. Like I said, I I pull mine through a lot. And when you can't stand up and protect. That's why out of the, the, the contrary of the six, it's two that are protectors. That's what I was about to say as well. Like, 
They're protectors. They're you should never be able to not protect yourself. Because if that person dies, honest, fucked. yeah, there's a lot of one way. If if something happens to their mate, like oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to get. But I don't think that's in this generation. That was back then when mm-hmm. women had to like pull themselves up. Like he he did all the finances. He he made all the money. Mm-hmm. Now women. That's are today's world. Now. Is that to, women, I've never experienced that, women, but that's in today's world as well. Women are focused about business now. Yeah, because we're able to, but. It's still not about protection. It's still okay. I think it up. is about protection. Protection I think, in a more nurturing way. Exactly. All of it's nurturing. I I think so. All of it's nurturing, but it's just a because you're gonna protect it. yours yourself. So it's always it's, it's always gonna be there. But are you open to the po- to the point of? Letting that shit go and letting someone else take that protective role. I mean, what I'm but saying. But what if you never Even, learned how to protect yourself? Then they never fucked. Never how, how do you never yourself? learn how there to protect some, yourself? There are some young women turning into women, my generation, who do not know how to protect themselves at all. Yes, they are smart, intelligent women, but they do not know how to protect themselves. Okay, so I understand but they where you're just coming from. To live in a, a reality like oh they're middle class so they don't have to deal with like school fights and bullshit like that um i mean i think mean, back in the day bullies actually prepared you for the world they prepared you did they, they, right they that's did prepare it. but they're as she said her generation that. now they don't they yeah. were prepared for bullies but there's no protection so they're vulnerable for anything that goes they didn't learn about it because it's all PC, gun, right. blah, blah, blah. Like, you didn't learn about how to deal with racism because now, you know what I'm saying, anything that offends you, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying? back then, it doesn't fucking matter. You you went through all that shit. That shit toughened you up. It toughened you up, but you still was sensitive. It's, yeah, it needs to be a fine balance between reality uh-huh. and your feelings. It can't just be the same. Well, the whole concept of, like we're saying, professing your love is that we're moving on into it. When you profess self-love to your mate or whoever in your life, you're being open Mm -hmm. to allow all that goodness to come in that you think is goodness. Mm -hmm. And when you feel like you can't profess your love, also, we're in the profession, the yeah, love part. Okay, it's uh-huh. not, you did a great job, and it went smoothly. It did. It did. So That's body. where it becomes where you not for being, as you say, not feeling protected. You don't have to protect. But you're professing your love is so vulnerable that you're willing to allow up your partic- being protective in your world that you thought you have. So when you're profess- profess- professing your love, you're not really professing it completely. Okay, so that they all play onto each other. Professing your love is still being able to learn how to protect yourself. If you have a protector in your life and he's... But well, like you said, your generation <clears throat> haven't had protectors. Y'all are trying to be your own protector. No, their generation lacks, lacks the ability to protect themselves. Uh-huh. Yes. So which means you didn't have... The guidance. Like if, if, if you were the, bullied, the direction. if you were bullied, and it's you, you, you build that. You but build that up. sensitivity now is being vindictive, being an empowerment of I'm gonna hit you before you hit me. So it's I'm gonna get you before you get me. It right. turns into like this snake shit. Correctly. Like going through see a device to get back at. And she said that I as I'm like more, it matters. I'm a hoe. I have six different people. You are a hoe because you got six different people. And I can say that as a formal hoe. <laughs> professing that you're a hoe because you got six different people. Oh, I'm just saying. Professing your love <laughs> is being able to take that weight off your partner's shoulders. Like, not at all waking moments of your life now as a unit. You have to be protecting me. I can still somewhat manage my and that's like I'm learning, learning how to let go of control. If you're allowing this person to protect you, you're learning to let go of trying to
trying to control everything around you. Okay. Okay, so then, so that's another part of professing your love. It is. I'm letting go mm-hmm. of the control that I had and I'm giving it to you. I mm-hmm. feel something that's very came to the light, Caroline. I'm so uh, I'm just saying that shit is is hard to to do. She is if really learning how to be unconditional. Your environment, your children's I'm so environment, happy. your world. If you're if you've been doing that all your life, it's kind of hard to relinquish that control to someone else. What if they don't do it as well as you do? That's a whole thing. <laughs> well, is it not? It, it's the whole thing because in your mind, Frank, you're giving it your hundred, your best. Giving it, hey, ten toes down, ten fingers down. I'm saluting on the motherfucking ground and everything. So, when that individual that you feel like is not like that, I'm just saying, it's like lifting, letting your heart feel loved for the first time. That's like letting letting go of control too, because then you're like, I'm. This is my heart. I don't want someone to break it. I don't want to feel that. You understand? Yeah, that vulnerable. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to be that vulnerable to allow someone to even get close enough to do it. You understand? So I think that's a big part of professing your love. But you should. Right? You should doesn't mean you you're ready to instantly. Exactly. This <laughs> is not all, instant. It's a process because time, like, we have a lot of time on our hands. For some people, it may be instant. Others, it's a sliding Girl, scale. we don't have a lot of time on our hands. But what you I talking about? I would say that you are doing a really great job. I see you in your struggle with him, and that I am, I'm liking your progress. I'm really loving your progress. Because, yeah, you could have gotten angry. You could have did this, you could have did that. You know, you told you. I in, a, in a heated moment. <laughs> Thank you for giving me my flowers. <laughs> but <laughs> we weren't talking about me. Okay? We're talking about love. And that is professing love. I see you professing love. Thank you. As he's in the room. I am I think the fuck. Gotta got my own chilling squad. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, let's um <laughs> Understanding each other's love language is also professing your love. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys, it's not a secret. Everybody knows my love language is communication. Mm -hmm. But if my mate's love language is something else, Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to try to... I get what you you, you, mean. Because you understand understand my language. Right. I hope y'all get it because the word is not coming it. to me right <laughs> now. But I'm saying adapt or mm-hmm. uh, what is the word? Adjust. Something like that. Yeah. Like if I'm if if their their love language is accommodating, good, but if their love language is gifts, yeah, and yeah. you're not that person that shows. That shit. Adapt and overcome. Oh, yeah. thank you, baby. That's my boyfriend. But um, mm-hmm. you would have to do that. Like I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to try because yeah. that's me professing mm-hmm. my love. Mm-hmm. As long as taking the time of day to really understand that about a person. Okay, so hold on. We all have five types of love language. Yeah. At the max, six. Six. <laughs> she just added one, but we get it. <laughs> I mean, you just have everyone's everything. love language is different. Even though you can have all five in you, uh, that yeah. main love language, because I, yes, communication okay, so, is good. No, I can, Sex this, is better. Okay, that's yes, two. Yes, appreciate That's three. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got the book in the living room. We uh-huh. can open it up and look at all five. But I'm just saying. And what's the fourth? You want me to look it up, bitch? It's a whole book. You Oh. Yeah. You want me to get it? Like, if I get out, y'all gonna see everything. 
I'm that. just wondering, like, you said yeah, you have five. Only, it's already been 25 minutes. If I make it longer. This is just short. This bitch about to get cussed out. See, you want to recap? Art. Do you want to recap Go before on. you curse her out? You want to recap since she says that this show is too long? So let's recap real quick. Okay. Yes, count to 10, bitch. That's an hour activity. You want to do an hour and 25 minutes of the show today? Are you ready? We're going to we're going to do a part 2 and she will not be here. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. This is a part 2. <laughs> she will be in briefly, y'all. This what can you recap before yes, we're not we'll doing it? Ready. Not tonight. Go ahead, recap. Oh, honey, so, you're not gonna regulate me. I'm a grown ass. Boy, understandable, right but I'm just saying she putting limits on us. Oh yeah, so, I'm gonna let the little grown woman speak, honey. Little grown woman. That's uh, a good country song. Little women. Remember that now. That's a oh, that's a great book. Oh, wonderful. Does this should remind you of all three characters? Beth, she reminds. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, let's recount. Let's wait. Re- it's a part of the recap. Recap. I'm sorry, girl. That shot sure got you. Uh, are, they, are you very intrigued? Entwined with our guest <laughs> tonight. <laughs> She's line very unlikely tonight. Not. Yeah, because number one, one thing I noticed about the young ladies in today's world, they lost the power of themselves. Prime example what she stated, y'all. How can you have protection in someone else when you don't have self protection? That I, I'm recapping on gosh. You have to have self protection, <laughs> self love. Your three P's as we put tonight is about my job here is just to sit and look pretty. That's it. Providing you what she's doing. Protecting and professing your love. The three P's in a relationship. First off, you have to self-provide. As you said, you said I have my... Hold on, I'm, I don't want to cut you off. But you You're are. doing beautifully. But uh-huh. as soon as you said self and you're talking about a unit. Uh huh. That's not unit. It's talk. relationship. It's unit talk. You're saying we had unit fuck talk. Fuck you. I can protect myself. No, you're not listening. Okay, well continue. Maybe I, maybe I should let you finish before I let me listen to the whole understand. Uh huh. Go ahead. When we involve ourselves in relationship, what I mean by having that self-professed love, that self protection, that self-providing. Like you said, I don't want to be the one that always has to put self first when I have a mate. That's a beautiful thing. But, as you said, you know, you're allowing your love language communication and gifts and everything. You're being vulnerable, and at the same time, you're allowed to be unconditional. Which is a beautiful thing. It she is bring, very, she likes to bring up the unconditional. No, because and I don't it, it, care oh if I God. say yes tomorrow. There's still true. conditions. I'm sorry. It's on not, everything. It's not, y'all. I'm, it's not. When you listen, there are conditions. Uh, Thank uh, you. I'm recapping because y'all had y'all time. Listen, it is conditions. Then you, you can't say unconditional. Yes, it is because you made it in a condition that's unconditionally. Accepting. Hold on. No, I'm I'm putting it all together if you listen correctly. Okay. If I say I do today or tomorrow, I have conditions, right? So therefore, I have really professed self love, self protection. But it's not about self. That's what I'm trying. It's it's about you in your a relationship. You're talking about self. I get it. Self. Everything, yes, lift yourself up. But that's not what the fuck <laughs> that we're talking is. about. We're talking no, about in a relationship. Uh huh. You a relationship like, with no, yourself? No, bitch. Stay in a relationship no, with no. the person. No. Stop being selfish. That's not what the fuck we're talking about. 
we're talking about relationships and all oh, your so recapping is honey. about yourself. I, yes, no, we're not no. doing this tonight. What you we're, mean, not, we're not doing you this tonight. Said, you we're not doing this tonight. No. Of themselves, even though we're dealing with the individual, those are two people who are themselves no. that's coming together. No. So therefore, hold on. You're professing your love and I do. I'm feeling that. I profess my love to myself. Fuck the mate's part. That is completely rejecting your mate. Exactly. Uh, so so you're, we're wait, talking wait. about relationships. So therefore, wait, wait. You're talking we're about talking about relationships wise no we're okay. talking about relationships okay. you're talking, talking about, about samaj bitch <laughs> no. No. no you might run into some person you find very attractive you get their number you end up meeting up with them somehow some way uh, right? number seven and maybe they're white that's already one of your conditions you don't like white boys or you won't date how white do you make a sense but this oh, person who, 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 this bitch is open <laughs> <laughs> no i'm she just saying bark. Open, bitch. Go ahead. Theoretically. Theoretically, um, you got. Yes. Theoretically, honey. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't get her. Don't get her. Go ahead. Continue right. with what you were saying. But in okay, this let's get the tax situation. Right. Maybe you don't fuck with white boys. Maybe you fuck them. You don't date them. But this person is the one for you. Uh-huh. That's already one thing. You've gone past that. You're on this date with them, uh-huh. which inevitably leads up to sex. Which comes up to your second condition. Oh, you know, his dick's nine inches, but it's not like ten inches. And it's not that thick no. either. <laughs> so I feel like this whole like I like to be in church right now and just yeah. Yeah. walk the fuck out real quick. You know, like do I really look like a big dick energy hoe? Yes. <laughs> he may <laughs> He may be really good in bed. But Please That's get one to your of your point. Conditions. Please get to your I'm point. I'm showing how conditional she right. may oh. or may not be. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, so you're trying to debunk her. Every, yeah. Everything is unconditional with her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Please do, because she doesn't listen to me. Everything has conditions. I'm sorry. How are you going to debunk me? I'm saying it's that. just true love. True love is, okay, this and is it's my still condition, conditional. But because, oh, there's, true love still like, because there's things that this person does... Oh, I love him unconditionally. Oh my God, he does something that you don't like. Y'all see, they're not willing to give out the three true keys of this conversation tonight. You can Continue. never not do that because humans come with conflict and misunderstandings. Oh, and it's Bobby just has what humans do. Mm. That's it. I'm so Same happy. With every other creature on the planet. Oh, I'm glad she said. So creature. you can't <laughs> keep saying, it, please. I get it. You believe in unconditional. I know no, you're not you, fucking You angels. say it all the time. But everything has conditions. Okay. Keep Other that than mind. that, the, you, like our world would just be never ending. There's things that you will not allow to happen I in mean, a relationship. Like, Guess what, like, bitch? Yeah, that world. is a condition. What the fuck? So you mean you tell me that any hiccups? Whatever. If you don't like to get hit upside the head with a dick every once in a while, that's a condition. No, bitch, you can't hit me <laughs> in the head with your dick tonight. You that's a oh, condition. Oh wait, it's the condition when you it's say you condition. want to fuck your ass, right? That's, a, that's still a it's condition. It's a condition when you said no, I don't want you to eat my pussy tonight. I, I will never say that ever. Uh, in life. Like any moment, bitch, I will sign any more you condition once a month. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, she's a nasty bitch, child. How? She plays conditions once a month. She has no conditions. See that? She don't understand. Under you respect. don't understand. You have to respect your condition that you have once a month. And this bitch doesn't. <laughs> she's a not unconditional one. We ain't even talking about the same thing no more. Girl, so. we've been on the same thing. You nope. know It's been real, y'all. Yeah, it's been good listen, tonight. Um, since she's the only one that recaps. Whatever. You guys remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, ring that bell. And you might never see this person here again. Shut up. You'll see I'll her again, her. guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Just the still room, nothing. Uh, yeah, okay. These are still rolling, but edit yet. Um, podcast, thank you for listening, tuning in. I don't believe there will be a part two, but you never <laughs> know. The night's still young. Bye. What time is it? Oh, this is this very young. Oh, damn, I'm going to miss a three call. That's not young. Babe, can you um, undo these?
not undo them, but turn those off, please. Mm. And thank you.